We're using it in particular areas where we're not certain of the nature of the cyst and I think that's certainly the role that we see it in. So if we're clear what the diagnosis is already and we're clear on the management of that, whether that be discharge or surgery, then there's no need to add further modalities uh, to, to that. But there's a large group, you know, at least a third of our patients, that we really don't know the answer despite going through the usual protocols of non-invasive scans incorporating endoscopic ultrasound. And that's, that's the role, I think, for Silvicio. The two particular areas I see it in is you know, perhaps the young person and being able to confirm that they have a non-mucinous cystic lesion and be able to be discharged from clinic, that would be, that would be very good. And also the other area is the old patient with perhaps other health problems in whom there's a significant surgical risk and you really want confirmation that there's a serious cystic tumour, for example, that requires surgery before going ahead with a big operation. Yeah, so we see you know, young people, you know, perhaps people in their 40s, you know, who have had a scan for another reason and they're found to have a cyst. And that causes a lot of concern and anxiety and we're looking into that as well, about what people feel about when they get a diagnosis like that. And you know, none of us at the time that they're first diagnosed are certain that they've got a cystic tumour or something benign which is of no concern. We try to work that out as quickly as we can. So I think it's very reassuring if we can be confident about the diagnosis. And what we're finding is that patients don't really like the situation where we say, you have a cyst, we don't think it's malignant, we're going to keep a close eye on it with non-invasive scans and come back in six months or 12 months and we'll do another follow-up scan. And you know, many people find that very anxiety-inducing, understandably. Mm -hmm.